to sit down and so that it learns that I'm in control. Mental fortitude, that's what you have to build up. Visualize yourself like you're like a beast mode, like you're an animal. Like, I know that I'm a human, but in my mind, I, I can zoom out and I can see a lion. It's like I'm this lion and I'm the fiercest thing out. In whatever field I choose to pursue, I feel like I'm, I'm the lion and I'm not turning back. And when people make noise or try to distract me off my course, my head doesn't even turn. It just stays focused and my mind is just locked in and I'm, I can do this, I can do this. Step, 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 focus, 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 keep going, push back persistence. Yes, it's hard, but I love it. I like when it's hard because I like that. I like the friction. You know, if it was easy, it just wouldn't be fun. Regina Rapper's message about anti-bullying is being heard around the world. My next guest this morning is Curtis Uncle Adams. By a local burgeoning musician in Curtis Adams, who is uh, good enough to join us. Uncle Adams, and I'm a motivational rapper, speaker, role model, and counter-bully, among other things. That's the short version. I write, record, and perform hip-hop music. I travel to schools. I'm a motivational speaker. I speak to students. And uh, uh, I use my musical talents and hip-hop status to teach students the power of good decision-making. Uh, what would your advice be to kids to kind of overcome it or, or help them a little bit? Uh, it would be to be stronger and be true to yourself and I'm kind of going through that right now with myself. Um, I have some schools in Regina that are asking me to come to their schools but unfortunately the school board, the Regina Public School Board and I aren't quite seeing eye to eye so they're denying me access into these schools unfortunately. So they kind of want me to change some stuff in my presentation and I'm not really willing to do that so my message to the kids would be be stronger, be yourself say what you want to say no matter what and do not change just because somebody else wants you to change hey guys what's going on uncle adams here i gotta be honest the numbers are not looking good for me and i'll be honest i owe 164 thousand dollars right now why because i chose to quit my job and go all, all out after my dream a few years ago i guess you could look at it like a student loan some people take out student loans to become a doctor or, or a lawyer or whatever and then when they start earning good money in those professions they pay them off well what i'm doing really isn't that much different i call these the rap game loans i have a silent investor who believes in me and my dream who I'm very thankful for, but they will remain anonymous at this time, but you know who you are and I appreciate you very much. That silent investor has $71,000 invested into me. I have a US credit card that I owe $36,000 on. I have a TD line of credit that I owe $12,000 on. I have a Home Depot card that I owe $6,000. Loan that I owe $14,000 on. So total, I'm at 164K. But, I'm still going to keep going. Most people would look at these circumstances and say, oh my God, I failed. But what you need to understand is the difference between failure and making it essentially is the refusal to quit. I need to sell my car, which I'm hoping to get about $6,000 for. With that money, I will be able to pay the bills, I will be able to uh, create the at least a million music video. I don't even have the money to do the video, yet I am planning the video because I believe in my vision, everything will fall into place, but not only will it fall into place, but I will make it fall into place. Hey guys, here we go again. It is September 13th, just after 11 a.m. In the last video I showed you guys that I'm down to like $30. Oh, I want to see if we can make this light. Um, so nobody's bought the car yet but the good news is i remembered that i have two more cards two more credit cards so i can't actually withdraw money but there's still some hope because we can buy some goods from these stores sell them convert it to money and keep going after this dream but i want to be very clear i don't want my fans and kids watching this thinking oh look at that out his credit cards you know like it's the cool thing to do remember I am doing this to accomplish a dream I have a bigger plan I'm not doing this to buy booze for the weekend or to go clubbing and stuff like that okay this is part of me building an empire funding a dream we got some sawzalls a couple of power drills a couple of uh, 23 inch 
Switch, computer monitors from Best Buy, and a couple of pill speakers. We are going to sell this stuff, get some money. Hey everybody, Uncle Adam's here again with another episode of the At Least a Million Mission. In a lot of debt, I have no money, I'm scraping by, but I'm still going to earn a million dollars. Uh, today's been a tough day, we had to scrape together money for groceries, we had like $46 and used it all and tried to get points to, you know, make the money go a little further. So we got our groceries and now I have literally less than a dollar in my bank. I'm on E. So, that's why I'm at the pawn shop see what they'll give me. I don't want to give this stuff away, but I need some money. I need to get gas. I need to wash this car because it's been a muddy day so that the person who looks at it tonight hopefully buys it. Um, yeah, keep going. I'm going to keep going no matter what. Okay, so this guy offered me like next to nothing, honestly. Like 60 bucks for a $220 monitor still in the box. So got someone else who wants to buy uh, one of the items privately so probably meet up with them 5 30 get a bit of money to keep going so yeah that's what's up guys keep going no matter what we're gonna shock the world man people aren't gonna believe this people aren't gonna believe that I went from being in massive debt to being financially free and a superstar just because my mind wanted me to become that, you know what I mean? I'm still on the at least a million mission, but it's getting hard. I gotta be honest, it's getting very hard. The bills continue to stack up. Um, I had to borrow a thousand dollars from my mom. And it's like, life just tries to test you, man and wants to make it hard for you sometimes to see if you'll pass the testing period. That's what I feel like. So yeah, it's hard times, man, but I'm, st I'm not giving up. I'm gonna keep going. If you wanna take over an island, you wanna invade an island and take it over, burn your boats so that you have no way to retreat. And I've done that, man. There's no way to retreat. I can't go back working a regular job and slowly paying off $165,000 in debt. You know, I can't do that, man. I have to make it. That's the only way out now. That's the only way I ever intended to, it to end anyway, is, is me making it. And that's just more fuel for the fire, man. I have to make it. I have to make it now. Hey guys, it's September 29th, around 5.15 p.m. And I'm scheduled to go over to my video guy's house at seven. We're doing the final edits on the At Least A Million music video. It looks really good. I'm really happy about it. But I don't have the money to pay the guy and I'm trying to stay positive and figure out a way to do this. Um, I don't know, I have an hour and 45 minutes before I'm supposed to go there, so. Catch you guys later, I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling so good, just like the song says. Feeling like at least a million. You can feel like a million dollars even with a couple bucks in the bank, man. Take a good look in my wallet. There might be a bit of dust and a post stamp. Whoa, stuff's going flying. But seriously, I'm in debt. I owe a lot of money. I don't really have any money. I couldn't even really afford to pay for my video. I had to put it on sort of layaway. But I still feel good, man. I know. Don't judge according to circumstances. Don't do that. I'm not doing that. I know the future is so bright. And I just can't wait. What's up, guys? One sec. Sold the car. They were so nice. Such nice people, man. No, they drove me home. Okay, kiss you soon. Bye. Okay, guys, so... I just sold the car. I got, I have life. I have life here. This is pay my rent, pay a few bills, pay my video guy, and keep moving forward, man. This is what I'm telling people. Like, you just keep going and things will come to you as you need them. It might be like, oh, it's crazy. Like, my rent was due yesterday and I didn't have it, but I kept the faith. I kept going. Sure enough, today, 
I sold the car, now I can pay my rent, now I can do my thing and I can keep moving forward. Go as far as you can see and then when you get there you'll be able to see a little bit further. So I have life. It's never over, man. Like Les Brown says, it's not over until I win. And I'm going to win at this rap game. Seriously. So today is January 11th of 2018. It's a new year. I'm feeling good. Um, I hope you guys are all well. And I bet you're wondering, what's with all the TVs? If you watch the earlier episodes, I talk about how I'm approximately $200,000 in debt. Well, make it $207,000 in debt because I got these TVs from the store so that I can sell them. It's on to the next thing. You, you see the mindset? Nothing can stop me. to the highly anticipated episode 10. We got a lot to talk about. So for over a year, there has been a group of trolls trolling all of my accounts, pretending to be fans, but really they have sinister intent, okay? And I let this go on for way too long. Over a year ago, when I was promoting my original music video on Facebook, it had a caption saying, even people who hate rap are loving this guy, okay? But these trolls thought that the irony in that line was ridiculous and it was, it was just too funny. And their whole group plays off of things being ironic about me. Like, I said that people who hate rap, but they like me. So they pretend to be fans, but they're really enemies. They would go to my store and comment on my hoodie. Uh, oh, this is so hot that it keeps me cold. These people have bullied my fans. They've told some of my fans to go kill themselves. They got a hold of my phone number. They were prank calling my phone. They got my address at my old house. They were threatening to come to my house. So if you get invited to that group and you're a real fan, don't join it. Um, they often post nice things pretending to be fans, even though they're enemies. So don't be so quick to assume that just because someone's posting something nice that they're not a troll. They try to do that. They try to, they try to mess with me, right? So this group that pretends to be fans but are actually trolls got this YouTuber to review one of my videos. They kept messaging him, review Uncle Adams, review Uncle Adams, okay? Now this guy's name is Anthony something, okay? Uh, the Needle Drop. I call him the Needle d And uh, my other friend watched his video too. He's like, who's this Needle guy? So everybody apparently just calls him the Needle because he just changed a few letters in his name. Plus it seems like he has a small because he just sits there behind the screen dissing everybody all the time. Mm -hmm. 